Hello, I'm Marcus Maybe, reporting for Shoney TV. Recently, we had the opportunity to interview Caitlin Sullivan and Miss Wool. So the National Honor Society is used to honor students who maintain a certain GPA and service and leadership throughout the school. They are asked to complete a certain number of service hours throughout the year, which are transferred to points. They are also asked to maintain their GPA. We have a specific Renegade chapter based upon our four pillars, scholarship, leadership, character, and service. I am the president of the National Honor Society this year, which means I control all the points. So whenever someone finishes an event, they put it into a points list and I maintain the points of everyone in the club. My role is to find opportunities for students to volunteer in, check in with them, make sure that they understand what the requirements are. Our main goal is to help society. So we do a number of community service events throughout the year. And our students are actively involved in helping and serving others, um, which you know is a great cause for everybody who's involved. So a student can do anything that they want that we have on our events list. And we also allow them to bring their outside service hours to the club so they can either spearhead an idea and let the whole club participate, or they can do an outside event and that can count for their own points. I think that students earn a chance to be recognized for their leadership. With it being a national organization, it is recognized by every college and they know the standards that you have to uphold. Um, there are scholarship opportunities within the organization as well. So in the beginning of your your junior year you will get an email if you have a 3.25 GPA or above saying that you are eligible to apply. This year we require our juniors to have 15 service hours by the end of the year and they cannot have any probationary records, anything like that. They also have to be involved in at least three clubs, activities, or sports here at Shawnee High School. You can find more info on the Shawnee website or by visiting Miss Kirk and Miss Wool. I'd like to close by thanking them for their cooperation. For Shawnee TV, I'm Marcus Maybe.